What do biologists do with the information gathered during wildlife population surveys? Wildlife surveys can be used for everything from environmental impact assessment for industrial permitting, to measuring the effectiveness of regulations, to identifying areas of habitat protection. Each survey also helps us continue to refine and improve our survey methods. But the primary use of the survey data is to inform harvest management of hunted wildlife species. Wildlife is managed on the principle of conservation first, then meeting the sustenance and ceremonial rights of First Nations, and then licensed hunting opportunities. Data from surveys enables us to make science-based management decisions to ensure that hunting remains sustainable. We're particularly interested in overall population trends over time. Repeating surveys in the same areas over multiple years can tell us if an animal's population is stable or increasing or can alert us to declines that require further investigation. One key factor that we track is the number or ratio of males per hundred females. If there are too few males relative to females, not all the females will be bred and there will be fewer males available to fulfill their ecological role and for hunters to harvest. For moose, we try to maintain a minimum of 30 bulls to 100 cows in areas with higher density populations and 50 bulls to 100 cows for low density populations. For caribou, a ratio of at least 35 bulls to 100 cows is considered sustainable. Because bulls and cows are part of this ratio we manage for, changes in survival to either group can alter the ratio. High rates of female mortality from hunting or other causes can have a negative impact on the sustainability of the population. Another crucial ratio we track is the number of young surviving to reproductive age. This cow to calf ratio can give us an idea of how well a population is replenishing itself. Remember, a stable or growing population is what we're after here. These science-based methods help us determine a sustainable, allowable hunt and the regulations required to achieve that goal. By the same token, we can learn that some populations cannot sustain any hunting at all. Because each area is unique and has different challenges, there's no one-size-fits-all management strategy. Therefore, management decisions tend to be made on a regional basis, informed by provincial direction, such as the Provincial Framework for Moose Management in BC. For biologists, policymakers, First Nations and hunters, wildlife surveys remain our best tool for understanding the ebb and flow of wildlife populations and ensuring a sustainable harvest for generations to come. If you'd like to access survey reports, please follow the link in the description below.